Let us try very interesting questions now. The questions which we have solved in our school. In a zoo, there are some peacocks and tigers. The number of heads are 60 and the number of legs is 160. Find the number of peacocks. As I said, the question sounds very interesting. He very clearly said, there are some peacocks and tigers. If heads are counted, it is 60. Legs are counted, it is 160. And is asking me to find out the number of peacocks. The most important part here is you have to know how many heads does peacock have and how many heads does tiger have. We all know peacock has one head and tiger also has one head. But he has given the count of legs. Peacock has two legs whereas tiger has four legs. That is going to help you a lot. Pay your attention this will help you in solving many questions from now. He said there are total of 60 heads. That itself means that peacocks and tigers together are 60. This number will help you a lot. Remember, total number of peacocks and tigers together is 60. Assume that all 60 are peacocks. If all 60 were peacocks, then it would have been 120 legs because each peacock has two legs. If all 60 were tigers, it would have been 240 legs because each tiger has four legs. But the number given is 160 because there are some peacocks and some tigers. It is given as 160. Go for cross subtraction. This is 40 and this is 80. The ratio is 2 is to 1 and that is enough for you to answer. The total number of peacocks and tigers are distributed in the ratio 2 is to 1. 2 plus 1 is 3 parts. 3 parts is 60 because total is 60 and is asking me to find out number of peacocks. Number of peacocks is 2 parts. 2 parts is how much? 3 into 20 is 60. 2 into 20 will be 40. So there are 40 peacocks. So the number of peacocks are 40. And if the question was the number of tigers, then I would have gone for one part. 1 into 20, it would have been 20 tigers. You will get your answer in this way. The only thing is you have to assume that everything is a peacock and everything is a tiger. Then you will get to know total 120 legs and 240. But because they have mixture, it is 160. You got the ratio. Total is 60. Three parts is 60. Then two parts is how much? One part is how much? For this particular question, your answer is 40 because the question is on peacocks. Let us try another one so that you will get a better understanding on this. Suppose the question is, in a forest, there are certain number of hens and lions. If heads are counted, it is 250. And legs are counted, it is 800. Find the number of lions. Another interesting question. In that forest, there are some hens and lions. Total heads are 250. Total legs are 800. And is asking us to find out the number of lions. So what we'll try to do is, 250 is the total count. And start assuming that everything is a hen. If everything was a hen, then it would have been 500 legs. If everything is a lion, then it would have been 1000 legs. But he has given it as 800 legs. If I cross subtract, this is 300 and this is 200. If I take the ratio, it is 2 is to 3. Now I got the ratio as 2 is to 3 and is asking me to find out total lions. Total is 5 parts. 5 parts is 250 and is asking me to find out 3 parts is how much because 1 under lion is 3 parts. 3 is how much? 5 fives are 25 and a 0. 3 fives are 15 and a 0. So total number of lions are 150. So every time the question is asked in this way, this is how you will be doing it. Let us solve one more interesting question of this kind. Suppose the question is, in the house, there are certain spiders and cockroaches. If the total heads are counted, it is 20 and total legs are counted, it is 144. Find the total number of spiders and also find the total number of cockroaches. Very, very interesting question. He said, in that particular house, there are some spiders and cockroaches. Total heads are 20 and total legs are 144. First, we have to know how many legs will spider have. Total number of legs spider has is 8 and total number of legs cockroach has is 6. Every insect has 6 legs. That is what we have learnt in school. So, spider has 8 legs and cockroach has 6 legs. Each one of them has only one head. So, let us go with 20 heads. That means 20 spiders and cockroaches together. If everything was a spider, because spider has 8 legs, it would have been 160. If everything is a cockroach, cockroach has 6 legs, it would have been 120. But the given number is 144. If I cross subtract, this will be 16 and this will be 24. If I simplify, I will get it as 3 is to 2. 
because 8 3 is a 8 2 is a. I got the ratio 3 is to 2. Total 5 parts is 20 and is asking me to find out total spiders and also total cockroaches. If total spiders has to be found out, it is 3 parts because spiders are 3 parts is how much. And if total cockroaches, it is 2 parts is how much. 5 is 20, that is 5 4s are 20. Then 3 4s are it will be 12 spiders and 2 4s are it will be 8 cockroaches. Very interesting questions which are asked many times in the examinations. You have to be very careful in answering them. <laughs>